our utility services such as water, gas, electricity, our air safety services, defence services and of course our financial services all depend on their computer networks. Take away those networks, interrupt their service and the effects could be devastating. Hackers know that. They can launch an attack from anywhere in the world and they're difficult to trace. This is why the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence in Tallinn is so strategic. I would say the military term is train as you fight and fight as you train. So it applies the same way for the, the whatever you do, cyber defense. You have to have training on all levels. It, it's not only the security administrators, IT specialists, but also the regular military members have to know how to deal with those things. The Center of Excellence brings together experts from several NATO member states, and the list of contributing nations keeps growing. Together, they develop strategies to prevent, detect, and fight cyber attacks. Behind this door, this is the place where we do the cyber defense research and development. Unfortunately, this is a secure area, and I cannot let you in. The cyber attacks that hit Estonia in 2007 and other countries later made everyone realize to what extent an attack conducted from cyberspace can disrupt people's lives. It's clear that the Estonian economy is very vulnerable to an attack from cyberspace as it depends greatly on the internet. For example, 98% of bank transactions are done electronically. So, of course, that means that if you manage to shut down those electronic channels, you'll stop the circulation of money and the economy with it. I think this is one of the lessons learned. Whenever we want to build a defense against cyber attacks, this has to be a fast response. Fast in minutes, not in hours. Aware of these new rules, NATO has been improving its cyber defense capabilities to be able to protect citizens against attacks conducted from cyberspace and continues to do so. NATO is transforming itself to meet the challenges of the 21st century and cyber defense is a, one of the core components of this. So NATO is deploying more cyber defense capabilities, operational, technical, on the computer networks, uh, developing capabilities to assist a member nation. We learned a lot of lessons from the events that happened in Estonia. The nature of cyber attacks is that they affect nations and organizations in the same way. It's absolutely essential that we employ collective defense. We need to work very closely with our partner nations and our commercial partners as well, because we can all learn from each other, we can help each other, and we can help protect each other.